Police say they are not sure why there have been so many homicides this month, but they don't believe that any of them are connected. They've made arrests in five out of seven of the cases, including the most recent one, which happened this past Saturday on Rutland Drive. This is particularly tragic because of the recklessness of human behavior. Austin police say a gunshot fired from the apartment next door killed 46-year-old Jessica Shaw. It happened early Saturday morning at the Aspero Rutland Apartments on Rutland Drive. Ms. Shaw is a person experiencing homelessness and was visiting a friend at the time of, at the time of the murder. Police say next door 36-year-old Noah Mata and three others were looking at a gun. After taking a picture of the gun, which belonged to one of the other men, police say Mata tried to steal it, leading to a fight and two men wrestling for control of the weapon. After one of the other men got it back, police say they fired the gun at Mata but missed. Instead, it hit Shaw in the chest as she watched television. The gunshot went through the, the, the wall and struck her. She wasn't the intended target. Austin police say the person who fired the shot did so because they feared Mata would hurt them. They have not been charged. Prosecutors didn't charge Mata with murder, instead opting for first-degree aggravated robbery for allegedly trying to steal the gun, which set off the deadly chain of events. The charge was based on information that we have at the time and we have now. Austin police say several of the homicides this month have stemmed from fights or disagreements. In light of that, Lieutenant Sheldon Askew encouraged people to be kind and talk to each other. We can't, we can't get to a common place um, respecting one another, caring for one another without communication. Austin police say they are still looking to locate witnesses that were in the apartment when those shootings happened. Police also updated the community today on four other homicide cases. You can find information on those cases on our website right now, kview.com. In Austin, Daniel Perot, KVU News. Daniel, thanks a lot. Today, detectives called this recent uptick in homicides concerning and say it's taxing on APD officers due to the ongoing staffing shortages within the department. When looking at the city's homicide rate compared to the population growth, you can see the rate is up. We put the numbers together here and this chart behind me goes back to 2011 all the way on the left side. You can see the graph. So for most of the 2010s, Austin was between two to four homicides per 100,000 residents each year. Now that jump, uh, that number jumped significantly in 2021. You see the rise from 2020 to 2021 to about nine homicides per 100,000 people in Austin. Now for context, Austin recorded 88 homicides that year following a nationwide trend as cities saw spikes in crime during the pandemic. In the years since, the number has fallen back just a little bit. As you can see, the decline here to 2024 current numbers here in, in Austin, down to a little over seven homicides per 100,000 people. Now, with the 62 homicides recorded so far this year, it's at about six homicides per 100,000 people so far in 2024. So based on this data from the city, the homicide rate has risen as more people move to Austin, but it's not quite as high as what we saw during the pandemic spike from 2020 to 2021.